what is good everybody you are watching the channel uh tim's collectibles so check this out in front of me we have what uh if you're familiar with the channel pop couple uh they're selling these mystery mini um and various other kind of things uh mystery boxes and pretty much name your own price so i did uh went in at 50 bucks and this is what i got so i actually have a mail call i wanted to open up but before i got to it, i wanted to get to this um what, what an awesome presentation just go through it really quick they gave me a pop couple button or sticker i mean which is really cool really like that then we got a another sticker it is a velociraptor looks like with a cool kind of diamond pattern on the back in the miami vice 80s kind of style to it with the neon and then we have this uh really cool spider-man yeah that's a, that's a cool sticker it really stands out like that so yeah, first off, um, thank you very much, Pop Couple. I really enjoyed the box. I had a lot of fun with it, opening it up, and it was very exciting and uh, just a whole lot of fun. And um, I love this sticker here, the Blame Pop Couple. I'm sorry if it's not focusing, but uh, yeah, really cool sticker. There you go, Blame Pop Couple. So yeah, hashtag Blame Pop Couple for this mini box. Um, introduce me to these guys, kind of. I've already seen these guys, but uh, really, really love them uh these are the funko paka paka twisted treats uh so we'll just go into this one first and we'll leave that on there because it's kind of cool for lighting what is this so yeah this is the funko paka paka twisted treat the melted ice cream with like a all right so these are the twisted treats melted ice cream pretty awesome actually i like these a lot i was hoping to get the um i'll show you guys which one i was hoping to get with the little insert here. So here's the insert. Let's see if we can open this up and show you real quick. Yeah, so there you go. There's the Twisted Treat insert. I was hoping to get um, this guy up here with the little worms coming out. Pretty cool, like him a lot. Uh, they're all really cool, actually. The cupcake is cool. I got this guy. So this is ice cream. You scream, we all scream when we see ice cream. So see so are clear of their cold icy grass. So yeah, it's just a ice cream cone that has arms and legs, which is actually pretty cool. It looks like a zombie kind of, has kind of a zombie look to it. I like that a lot. Next up, we had a Tiny Toons Mystery Mini, uh, and this is uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, and this is uh, Brain from Pinky and the Brain. We used to love that show, so I was stoked about that one. Really awesome. Yeah, so that was a good pickup right there. And then we got a Dunny Mishka right here. Um, this is actually a dupe for me, but it is glow in the dark, so it's pretty awesome. I'll, I think I'm just going to hold on to it for that fact alone. Um... And yeah, Donnie Mishka, a lot of cool detail on these, really nice like these. So yeah, that was another good pickup. Um, I don't know if I can get it, if you can see the glow in the dark at all, probably not, but no, it's too much light in here. But uh, but yeah, that was a good one. And then my first Champu Champu, my first Champu Champu ever. Never had one of these before. This is the, uh, I don't know, he kind of looks like, he kind of looks like kind of goth rocker or something like that i don't know if he's supposed to be a specific person or not but yeah it's pretty pretty dope i would have liked to have gotten um see some of the other ones really cool box on these two i'm a sucker for sharks i don't know why chompu chompu box pretty cool and then these are all the different various ones you could get uh, kind of hard to see there but it would have been cool to have gotten uh, a couple of these other ones as well there's a melting one that's really awesome Right there, and then the ninja one is really cool too. A bunch of really cool ones here. So there's gold and silver ones that are chases or whatnot, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Not really my style, the gas thing, but okay. And then these were the two that I was really uh, happy about. These are the Nectorians. So uh, I've been slowly putting together. I have three of these, and these will be my four and five. Um, I don't know, I was talking in another video, I just really love this style, so I got these two, and, uh, I got the cards out, so I'll read the characters for you, so, this first one here, it's just, the first one here is just really neat, you can see the, uh, awesome detail on these, and, uh, just the style in general really struck me, I really just, I think they're just really, really cool pieces, they're just really neat, and I just enjoy them. So this character here is called called Penny F. Let's see if I can get it to uh, show you guys here. 
she loved the recent trendy fad of bicycling so much that she altered her body uh, so as to be more like the recreational machines she so adored, while still remaining practical enough to hold down her job as a downstairs maid. So, that's Penny F, and that's the Mectorians. Uh, this is the Series 2 of the Mectorians. There's a Series 1 by Dr. A. You can see his name up there. Um, series 1 is actually pretty expensive at this point, and, uh, you know, I have, like, five of the Series 2, as I said, but um, I'll show you the box, too, as well. So these are the uh, different potentials on this one. You got Demi and Semi, Dar Darrymple, Dalrymple. You have Carter P. Looks like a worm with a, an eyeglass there. You got Johnny Johnny Heck, I think that says. And, uh, two of twenty-four, and then uh, you got the Courtier, which is the big one, right? That's the how many and how many nobody knows. So that's kind of the big one in this series. Uh, Oscar Winchworthy is totally awesome too. Basically just a uh, basically just a camera. Or a camera. Basically just a uh, wardrobe or a trunk with a monocle. Uh, Reginald Clawfoot is pretty cool, too. He's a 1 in 48, so he's pretty rare. Um, and, yeah, so I'm happy to say that... Uh, well, let's see the other side. We have some others. Um, so, so far, I have one half of this duo. I have Colonel Rhombus. And... I have one half of this duo up here, of the two ladies here. So there's Penny F there. There's Penny F there. She's 2 and 24. And then this is the uh, highlight of the whole shebang right here. And we have the Courtier. I pulled the Courtier out of the one of two Mectorian wine boxes. Courtier is the big hit for Mectorian Series 2. And, um,. I'm still trying to determine exactly what the odds are for her because I just searched it on Google and I could not find it. Sometimes when they have question marks, sometimes somebody out there, some nerd out there will calculate all the potential odds for it and kind of give like an opinion on what they think the odds are, but I couldn't even find that. Um, but needless to say, let's just put it this way, this poll right here for the Courtier has paid for the entire box. So real quick, I'll just do the Courtier story here. She has the name and no wife of her own. She is property of the royal court, expected to be in, the att in attendance at all times, ready to delight with demure feminine wit and dazzling compliments. Her, s her, scant view, her scant few private hours are spent secretly penning short fictions involving graphic violent dismemberments and murder. So she's sort of a... Uh, She's sort of a nefarious character, actually. She's really... Well, I guess not nefarious, but she... I mean, she has this secret... This secret life here where she's apparently writing books about committing murder and dismemberment. But interesting. She's basically like a maid that's... Not a maid, but like a... Like a servant to the leadership, I guess. Uh, and she basically provides entertainment and guest services, if you will, um, to visitors, I guess. And in her spare time, she writes murder and dismemberment books so very interesting backstory there all in all uh, pop couple thank you so much i uh, had, a, had a lot of a lot of fun with this box and um the brain is so great i mean this rendition of it is so cool i love this they did a great job with this his head is perfectly as big as you would hope it would be um and thank you for the really cool stickers that you threw in and for anybody else out there and you know what it was a nice touch they threw in this card which outlines the values my box price was 50 dollars. i said i would like to send 50 dollars, and they cut they asked me what i like and they went went ahead and customized this box and um that's how it was. It was awesome. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, if you guys get one of your own, definitely uh, post it on Instagram and hashtag blame pop, pop, blame pop couple because they always uh, introduce me to all kinds of awesome stuff. So let me just move these aside really quick and I'll get rid of the boxes as well. And we'll go to phase two. Phase two of our video, which is a mail call from a YouTube friend. And... Uh, might as well keep that light right there while we're at it. But uh, yeah, this is somebody who I spoke with probably just a little bit right before I uh, took my hiatus for a while. And more recently just started chatting with again when I got back involved with um, YouTube. And went to my field box today and found a piece of mail from this gentleman. So I decided to uh, do a quick video on it. So it looks like... Um, it, I, can't, I don't know, it says eBay Fulfillment, so 
on the return address. So it's interesting. It's, I don't know if he bought this from eBay and sent it directly to me, or uh, he does his shipping through eBay, possibly. But yeah, so this is a uh, mystery package from The Reasonable Gentleman. Just crack it open real quick. Got a box in a box, okay. You know, people don't usually send me things, so I hope this wasn't some kind of shipping mistake. <laughs> but uh, TRG seems like the kind of guy that would be nice enough to do this, so I'm assuming, uh, assuming this was meant to be here. So let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Um, a little packing paper here. A little packing paper. A little more packing paper. Oh, there was something in there. We have a button. We got ourselves a... TRG button. Boom. Very cool, man. Thank you. It's going right on the pin board. Dope. Nice lot, brother. Let's throw that button over here. Put that button right on the white. Give it a little, a little glow to it. And it looks like we got some Pez here. It looks like we got some holiday Pez. We got ourselves a little snowman. He's cute. Look at that cute little snowman. He's cute. Uh, that little scarf there. Little rosy cheeks, little uh, carrot nose. I'm trying to get it to focus for y'all. Why are you not focusing? Come on now. There we go. Got a little carrot nose. And a white stem. Let's see, the inner sleeve is probably clear, I would assume. Let's see. Yep, inner sleeve is clear. And this is from. I don't know if we can. We're going to be able to make out the. Uh, let me see. It's fairly recent, I think. Can't see a year. Yeah, 2019 Pez, Christmas Pez. Very cool. Thank you, brother. And finally, we have a snowman. So this is a little bit older one, which is cool. I actually really like this one. Um, this one particularly is probably got a few years on it in terms of age, uh, but what I like about this one is that it was a, it was a remake of a, one of the original ones, which was um, very cool, just like this, and uh, yeah, definitely, definitely cool. You notice that the, uh, the noses have kind of changed over time a little bit, gotten a little shorter, and the uh, snowman has gotten a little cuter. This, one, this snowman could kill you, honestly. This one on the right, he could kill you. Look at that look. He's kind of, he's, he's a little bit, of, he's a little horror movie snowman a little bit. Okay, I think he could, this snowman could probably do something in like a horror movie. But this one's like definitely not killing you, you know? This one's definitely going to build the snowman, like with your little kid, and everything will be fine. Look at that tiny little pickle. Look at this big pickle, it's very threatening. All right, guys, the reasonable gentleman. Really appreciate that, man. Awesome. Very cool of you thinking about me, and uh, now I got some holiday snowmen going to my collection and bam we have a one of 50 limited edition and autographed reasonable gentleman sticker very dope he's got that freddy funko crown funko headquarters which i've never been to and uh, i'm sorry about the focus and um yeah just uh just a dope dope sticker in general so now i have another one so now i can uh throw this one somewhere i don't know exactly where yet but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out together guys so in case you guys haven't heard, um, 922, I'll be doing a live stream with uh, The Reasonable Gentleman and Mystery Pop Theater. Come and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about a lot of different types of toys and products and uh, just chatting it up in the, in the chat. So uh, during that live stream, I think I'm going to give away this custom Pez set that I did. Uh, custom Green Batman. I'm calling this set the uh, the Best Buds. So this is a just nice acrylic green, pure green on, a, on an older Batman. Um, and I threw in just a little bit of Sharpie, messing around with a little bit of Sharpies around the stems where it says Pez. But that's really cool. That's Best Bud number one. And then we got Best Bud number two, my man Garfield. So, you know, my man Garfield's always down. He's chilling. And uh, he, he's got a custom stem. I painted that one red. And he is Best Bud number two. And then here we go with Best Bud number three, Dino. Dino Bud. And he is showing with his homies. He's got a little bit of custom on the stem, a little bit of custom on the eyes. It's best bud number tray, three amigos. Oh no, the quattro amigos. You got your boy, good old Freddie Flintstone. He's got the custom 
super, super cloudy stem. A little yellow, a little green. Kind of hard, sorry about the focus, but it's showing a little bit. It's got the custom painted uh, neckerchief, I guess you would call that. And uh, looking a little sleepy. Looking a little bit sleepy. So that's Best Bud number four. So you can enter to win that entire set of four custom Best Buds Pez by your boy Tim's at, at Tim's Collectibles. Your boy Tim at Tim's Collectibles. And thanks a lot, TRG. Appreciate you thinking about me. And thanks again, Pop Couple. Um, Go check out that mini mystery box from Pop Couple. You won't be disappointed. And uh, the reasonable gentleman, I will see you soon on the live stream. Thanks for watching, everybody, and take care. Bye -bye.